Alright guys, so how I went from that to this in less than 10 minutes. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss this. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Alright guys, so off back, I know I look crazy, but just bear with me. Somehow it all makes sense. Somehow it just all makes sense, but we are going to get there. Slowly but surely, we are going to get there. I'll walk you through this whole process. So what I do um, after putting on the wig is fluff. Fluff, 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 fluff. There is a big difference between fluffing and then like combing through. And I don't like to comb through because the net of the wig is really stretchy. So I wanna preserve the elasticity as long as possible. I've had this wig probably for about a year now. So when I say this is my ride or die, it really is. I love it. But then again, I do have quite a bit of wigs to substitute, so I don't have to wear this one out all the time. I can swap out and preserve it that way as well. So part of making it last longer is the fluffing process. I am just trying to maintain the curl pattern as long as possible without so much frizz and so much um, tangle. So yes, that is what I do, fluff, 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 rather than comb through my wigs. After I fluffed and kind of uh, sat the wig where I want it to sit on my head, I start to now play with the baby hair and the baby hair to me is the most important part of the whole process so taking care of the baby hair and just spending that extra time to focus on the baby hair really really does help as of late I've also been working with um, scissors with <laughs> when it comes to the baby hair usually I just let it be and kind of hide it and um, create the illusion with the with the original baby hair that comes on the wig or that applied to the wig but as of late i've been adding an additional process where i kind of trim away some of the ex excess baby hairs so that the illusion just a little bit more seamless and flawless and i've been liking that so uh comment below if you kind of want to see a video of that i think i want to share something like that so yeah i would love to share that so comment below if that's something you'd be interested in as well so what i'm doing now is just applying the uh bobby pins in the positions that i want to lay the baby hairs down so usually it's around um it's essentially some uh, a couple in the front uh, one maybe at the temple and then one um, down by the air uh, and then sometimes even throughout so it just depends on whether I'm using glue or whether it's all bobby pins if it's all bobby pins more then likely I will be using more of it but if it's glue and bobby pin um, it's a good chance that I, I won't have to use as many bobby pins also being my uh, being mindful of the color of my crochet wigs is really important as well because if it's a blonde or a colored wig then the baby hair is harder to um to disguise so or that hairline is harder to disguise so you do want to um typically i always use always use glue on lighter hair wigs uh, or on colored hair wigs blacks you can rock that really <laughs> blacks you can rock it however you want for the most part some people have i've noticed have like 
not even use the baby hairs at all just use their own personal baby hair and blended the wig with their own hair which is wonderful amazing i i did that in the past for a little while but uh i found that in the sunlight it uh it always showed that it was not the same color for some reason like anywho so full a full baby hair closure is ideal for me personally but if you can rock it any other way do you i also want to talk about really quickly this camera so i just purchased the canon um eos uh m50 and i am in love with it guys i am so 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 excited that's one reason why i'm even doing this video uh I just think it is so beautiful. The image is so awesome. The brightness, the contrast, the the fact that I can even see myself. So if you if you see me looking this way, that's because there's a lens here, right? A small lens that I can now see. Or I'm sorry, not a lens, a small um, a small screen that I can now see what I am doing, and that is a big 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 game changer for me so I'm so excited so I will uh, I will talk more about it if you have any questions about this particular brand just let me know I will continue to talk about how I how I like it and how I enjoy it it is still fairly new so I'm still getting the hang of it you'll see me playing around with lighting here a couple a few times and adjusting things but that's all because I am having fun with this new camera that I just got so forgive me but uh, yeah and Thank you for watching. Until next time, guys. Peace.